Good afternoon ladies and gents, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2018 on a 68 plate. It is the Peugeot Boxer. Uh, this particular one is in the L3 H2 format, so uh, that's long wheelbase, high roof format. Uh, it is the professional model, which is the top of the range model on these things. Uh, your main things being aircon, navigation, reverse sensors, cruise control, electric windows, electric mirrors. Uh, and all of that malarkey will run you through the spec as we go through the cabin, to be fair. Uh, it is a one keeper from new van. It has covered just 54,000 miles. It's all warranted miles with it as well. This particular van, I think, is in great condition for the age and the miles. Uh, the purpose of these videos is to give you warts and all video walk around of the van so you know exactly what it is that you're buying. The vast majority of our customers will actually buy the van having watched these videos and leave a 500 pound deposit and come and collect or leave a 500 quid deposit and get the van delivered out to you. So there's a couple of different options there to think of uh, if you are interested. Uh, now let's get started on, on the video on the condition. So we're gonna start up here, uh, leading edge of the roof. Uh, pretty good, I don't think it's unmarked. I think there might be a couple of little minor dings just over there, they're very difficult to see to be honest with you. So not really anything of any significance. Coming down onto your windscreen, the windscreen is in good overall condition. There are no major stone chips or cracks that are gonna cause either of us any grief, I think. We do have one here that does look like it has been um, repaired at some point. The rest of it, I think, is just raindrops, to be fair. Because every time I get a camera out, it decides to rain. Uh, looking onto your bonnet, so, and, and, and we've also got a few petals on the, on the bonnet or, uh, fauna from the trees whatever you'd like to call it um bonnet anyway i digress is um in good overall condition they don't particularly chip up these things uh it's in good overall condition with no uh major stone chipping or anything all of this you can see is just stuff that's come off the trees as it's rained just to really help me and then coming down to the front of the vehicle your front grills front of the front bumper those are all looking good uh, no issues there your passenger side headlamp unit is in good order your passenger side front bumper corner is in good order with no scuffing and if we look down the side profile of the van here it's in really good overall condition there is something on the rear quarter i will point it out to you when we get round to this side of the van but overall if we have a look down the side here you can see there's a nice uh, gleam to the paintwork that's why you can see a bit of a mirror finish coming off it so that's always good good news isn't it it shows you that somebody's cared for it uh, driver's side headlamp unit that's all good and then driver's side front bumper corner that is all good there as well with no uh, heavy scuffing or anything we do have this little mark here uh, i don't know if you get our nails into it we might be able to get rid of it but assume it's there at the moment i think maybe a magic sponge might work some magic there driver's side front wing that's all in good order driver's side front steel wheel has minor elements of corrosion on it we have a budget tire fitted to it. That tire has that element of life left on it. Um, I think they're probably borderline for replacement with us. So um, we replace on three millimeters, legal limit being 1.6. Um, so speak to us about that and we'll confirm for you. Um, driver's side mirror unit looks pretty good. Got a bloody big hole in it down the bottom here, hasn't it? So uh, it looks like it needs a new fascia on it. Um, your upper and lower mirrors are all good. So we will get that mirror unit fixed um, prior to sale. Your driver's window, that's all good. Driver's side door, all looking good as well. Driver's side door handle and lock are good. Uh, door edges are in good overall condition with no heavy damage, scratching, chips, etc. Uh, let me just walk out so you get a good overall view of the side of the van and you can see She's in nice condition, looks very respectable, doesn't it? Because these big vans do a job and the job that they do often entails is that they can get beaten up a little bit. So this one is in nice, tidy condition. Your side strips going down the side of the vehicle and your lower sills, as you can see, those are in nice condition as well. Your mid quarter panel here, giving you a close up of it, all looking good. You probably hear the stereo, stereo is working all right on it, isn't it? Rear quarter, that's all looking good. And then your driver's side steel wheel um, has a Bridgestone tire, so that's nice. There's a little bit of surface corrosion on the steel wheel. That tire, plenty of tire tread depth there, to be fair. We're not worrying about that one, are we? 
And then just giving you another viewpoint down the driver's side from this angle. Again, on this side of the vehicle, you, you'll note it's got a nice mirror finish to the paintwork. It's got a nice reflection to it. That just shows you that the paintwork is not dull. Uh, driver's side rear bumper corner in overall good condition. We have a very small little mark on the black plastic there, but overall good condition. Reflectors are good. Moving up your rear light unit this side, that's all looking good as well. And then around to the back of the van, we have 50-50 split on your rear barn doors. Uh, those barn doors are in good condition. Notice how they align up as you would expect them to. Your high level brake light, that's all looking good. And then just a close up of your door edges, you can see there's no major damage to those either. Your driver's, uh, your rear door handle and locker in good condition. Uh, you've got the standard, almost a standard, I, I, I jest, uh, dings here. Now this happens when your rear doors open up and they actually come around, hit the light unit and dent the doors. Yeah, it does actually happen like that. Doors, passenger, uh, driver's side all looking good. Close up, uh, passenger side. That's all looking good as well. Now, rear bumper, it's in good overall condition, but there is a little bit of paint on it there, okay? Um, they have knocked over a, uh, I'll show you in a second, let's open up the door, knocked over a tin of paint in the back of it. Rear uh, bumper, overall good condition with your rear parking sensors, all looking good as well. And opening up the van, so bulkheads all looking good, uh, no major damage to that. We have a look down the sides of the van. Your um, ply lining kit has done a job, but it's still in good condition. Flooring, it looks a little bit damp in here at the moment. They have been in here cleaning it, so um, they do scrub the floors. Um, uh, but yeah, those are, those will dry out. We put the dehumidifiers back into them to dry them out. So floor overall good condition. This is where they've knocked over the bloody tin of paint. Uh, I think we can get it looking a lot better than this. The lads, uh, it gets time consuming to get this. Um, off and sorted but I'm fairly sure we can do something so um, we assume that we can get that looking better than what it currently does. Inside the rear doors ply lining panel there's disappeared not sure where that's gone um, and this side yeah you know they've done a job but there's still plenty of life left in them. Um, you know I would suggest that that is actually pretty clean for a big one. Um, Rear light unit here, that's all good. Rear bumper corner with reflectors, those are all good. And then just giving you another viewpoint down the side of the van from this angle. Um, I think that's potentially, this little corner panel here is potentially, I think, had some paint in the past. Um, it shows it more on the camera than it does in real life, to be fair. But if you look down the side, you can see nice reflection into it. All looking good. If I move around this side, you'll see, yeah. I think, uh, I think they probably just painted that rear corner panel at some point. Uh, upper quarter's all looking good. Lower quarter, that's all looking good. Your steel wheel, this side has minor elements of corrosion on it. Uh, looks like you've got another uh, Bridgestone tire there. Plenty of tire tread depth there. Got a little bit of wear on the sidewall. That is just purely from rubbing against curbs. And you've got a little bit of a crack on your hub, uh, hub cap there. Uh, lower quarter, that's all looking good. If I get down low, look at your sills, those are also in good condition. Mm -hmm. Sliding door, that's all fine. Sliding door rail is in good order. And your door handle on your sliding door, that's all good. Open it up, give you another viewpoint of the inside of the van. And you can see good overall condition. Entry seals all looking good as well. So once we've got the dehumidifier in there, that will dry out nicely. Here is your fuel filler and add blue filler. And then passenger door glasses all looking good. Door handles all good. Mirror unit upper and lower with integrated indicator. That's all good as well. And then your passenger side front wing. You've got a little scratch there, nothing major. Order up a touch up pen, get that sorted for you. The door itself is all looking good. Factory steel, elements of corrosion on it. Uh, tire on this side, I think that's all looking pretty good as well. And then opening up the van. Have you got it? We have. Right. So, okay. hang on. Just, so it's gonna... just turn that stereo off. Uh, passenger side door card, 
clean and tidy. Inside your door cards, you can see those are good. Your door shuts are also clean and tidy. Here's your bonnet, pull, pull that. We'll show you under there in a second. Entry seals and plastics, overall good condition. A little few little markers, in actual fact, I think that's the Valitas boots getting in and out. Flooring on your passenger side is all good. It is hold on the driver's side. You know what they're like if you're looking at these vans. They're made out of paper mache. Um, glove box is all good. Dashboard fascia on this side is all looking good. Headlining this side, all pretty good. That bulkhead looks dirtier on the video than it does in real life, but that's the beauty of the iPhone camera for you. Um, good for you, <laughs> not so good for us. Passenger side seat trim, as you can see, pretty clean and tidy. There's just a little bit of paint on this on the seat there. We may be able to get that off, we may not be able to, but we'll, we'll give it a go, see what we can do. Cup holders, we have a USB power there as well. Let's show you around the driver's side in a second, via the bonnet. Do it one handed so opening up the bonnet you can see it's nice and clean and tidy under here quite compacted into these things isn't it there's your oil filler dipstick will be there with the orange there's your coolant it's a nice color coolant it's a correct color coolant and there's no contamination in there you have your brake and uh i think clutch fluids and your windscreen washers around there as well but overall, really nice and tidy. And then driver's side, driver's side door card again. Pretty neat and tidy. Electric windows and mirrors, door shuts, all looking good as well. Entry sills and plastics, all pretty good. You got the normal little bit of wear and tear there on the painted parts. This is always the poor part of these vans. <sighs> Yeah, not a lot you can do other than buy a heavy duty mat from eBay and pop it over the top, I'm afraid. Uh, driver's seats, those are looking all good as well. And if we get into the van, they're a really nice spec big van. So 54,966 miles, just telling us that the doors open on it at the moment. We've got low on fuel as well. Uh, handbrakes on and I don't have my seat belt on. Um, your Steering wheel still has most of your factory texture on it. It's a nice, pleasant steering wheel to hold onto. Here are your Bluetooth controls and your volume controls on this side. We have wipers on this stalk. We have lights on this stalk, and then we have cruise control and speed limiter on your other stalk. Six speed manual gearbox, reverse gear to the left and forward, and that will automatically Steam activate your parking sensors. And then just turning the stereo back on over here, um, we have, um, Tom Tom sat nav units on them, which is really nice, isn't it? Uh, we have Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. Um, and I think you have, yes, you do. You have DAB, FM and AM. Oh, CD player, remember those? Welcome back to the 1990s. Um, and then air conditioning down here. And your um, heated mirrors, central locking, hazard warning lights, automatic stability, blah, 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 whatever you Peugeot call it, but basically electronic stability program. Um, and then in between your seats, I've thrown, I've screwed up the paper mats and thrown them under the driver's seat in case you're wondering what they are. But overall, nice and tidy. And that, my friends, is about it. So, there are 60 to 70 photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to check us out online. We have reviews, Google... Uh, Facebook, our own website, LinkedIn, Instagram. I think that's about our presence there. And overall, it's a really nice condition van, isn't it? Uh, yes, we've got to sort your driver's mirror out. It's a few touch-ins to do. Um, we'll have a go, see if we can get a bit more of that paint off on the rear bumper. Um, but overall, I would say for a big one, she's in good nick. Um, now, feel free to give us a shout if you need any more info on it. Thanks for looking at the video. There's about 15 minutes of your life you're never going to get back. But if you are interested in this van, it gives you a very honest appraisal of it. I have forgotten to point out to you something on this van. And you know what? It is like you wouldn't have noticed it because I haven't noticed it until I've really noticed it. You've got a little scratch mark there. It hasn't broken the paint and it goes down the swage line. Yeah. So there we go. One last minute. Um, something to point out to you. There we go, folks. 15 minutes. Boom. Done.
give us a bell. Cheers, bye.